Yo, what's going on guys? And today I am out in nature and we'll be talking about Dennis Smith Jr. So this is his last opportunity in my opinion to actually be given a shot in the NBA. He's on his fourth NBA team now. He's been on the Knicks, Mavericks, and the Detroit Pistons. And he showed us some flashes, okay? I think there was less flashes than good stuff. I mean, than bad stuff. Like he, he even on the Pistons last year, there was times where I saw like, damn it, Dennis. Did you lose the athleticism? Like, what happened? Because if you guys all remember, on the Mavs, this man was just slamming stuff down. Like, no respect or authority for the, for like, the rim. He was just slamming stuff down. He was just this explosive athlete that was getting comparisons to Russell Westbrook for his thunderous dunks. Okay? But that disappeared. Now, why do I think the Trailblazers are his best opportunity? They only have 14 players under contract. They have a two-way contract for Trendon Watford, who's a power forward, and they don't have a backup point guard, okay? Their backup point guard right now is Anthony Simons, but Simons is more of an undersized combo guard. So it looks like, in my opinion, Dennis Smith Jr. is gonna be a man, look, yes, he's his deal is, Unguaranteed, and it's basically a training camp deal that could be converted into a, a one-year deal. He could be the perfect backup point guard. His guy defensively is good enough to defend any point guard. He can defend some shooting guards. He's six foot three with a six foot four wingspan, and he's athletic, like athletic enough still to guard everyone. It's just figuring out his shot and what he's capable of doing. Because behind Damian Lillard, they need a backup point guard. So 15 minutes a night. For Dennis Smith Jr. is possible if he can show that he could be a valuable player. Because the starting lineup is going to be CJ McCollum, Norman Powell, and Damian Lillard. And the backups might be, could be Dennis Smith Jr., Anthony Simons, Tony Snell, Larry Nance, and Cody Zeller. And right there you're thinking, there needs to be a score. because And that could be Anthony Simons and Dennis Smith Jr. So last year in 20 games... For the Pistons, our man Dennis Smith Jr. averaged, you know, it wasn't anything impressive. It was only seven and a half points on 41.5% from the field, 35% from three, and three rebounds a game, four assists a game, a steal game, a little under a block a game. But if you look at his numbers on the Pistons the year before, it hasn't been great. He's a guy who's a career 32% shooter. I mean, he had his best three point shooting season with the Pistons last year. He only played 23 games last year. So we're not going to sit here and act like this was the best thing that could have happened to him because obviously not the best thing that could have happened to him. So I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below. If you guys were the, you know, if you guys were the trailblazers what would you guys be doing right now i think it's definitely interesting the situations he's he's in and it just sucks because he was a player that was really looking like he could have been in the upper echelon and i really don't know what happened to him and i i hope the best i hope it could turn around and he can become the player that we are all hoping that he would become but obviously it hasn't happened and hopefully it does so i want to hear your guys' thoughts down below what do you guys think of this pickup do you think he can become the player that we're all hoping for or are we just are we just wrong okay because i i want to hear if you're a pistons fan what did you guys think of him on the pistons was he good was he bad what was his problem and what would you do to fix dennis smith jr so that's it for me you guys I want to hear your comments down below until next time, guys but peace out